Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and welcome to Fridays, Saturdays, with Maniac 4 Bricks. This really should have been on Friday, especially because about this. Now, I've actually waited on this for quite some time because I wasn't sure if it was going to come off as show-offish to talk about this story. I mean, it does have a good premise to it and a good cause behind it, but since it's something that I worked on and was awarded for, I didn't want to be like, I'm so big because I have this honor. I wanted to do this as a way of sharing another way that LEGO has influenced me outside of building and as a hobby. Five years ago, on May 18th, 2013, I was at an Eagle Scout Court of Honor. And I was not only there for somebody else, I was there for myself, being awarded the rank of Eagle Scout. And this is something that is very prestigious from Boy Scouts of America. It is one of the highest honors that you can receive in the Boy Scout troop and going through the ranks, and it means that there's a lot that you've gone through, a lot of effort and all different skills that you've acquired over your time in order to earn this rank. It's not something that they just hand out to everybody. It is something that you work hard for, you learn a lot, and can retain that and, and apply that to future skills and projects. And as most people know, when it comes to earning the rank of Eagle Scout, there is one major requirement that is involved, and that is the Eagle Scout project. There are plenty of other things that go along with that, as well as merit badges, uh, certain required ones to collect, as well as optional ones to fill in the gaps, and there are also certain other activities that need to be involved with, but the big one most people remember is the Eagle Scout project. And that's one you've probably seen a lot of times in the newspapers locally, um, and somebody that's trying to work towards that award that is uh, usually made public and should be honored. As far as my Eagle Scout project, it has a lot to do with Lego. It was basically the premise of the project itself. I, for a while, have wanted to be a teacher. And this is something that I've thought about all through high school. And as I was growing with the Lego hobby, it's something that I wanted to give back in the community. And this is probably the best way to do it. Lego has been a way for me to always keep learning, to always experiment and be creative at the same time. And I'm sure I could do another video later on that'll talk about how much Lego means to me, but to put it in a nutshell, it's that. And teaching is probably one of the best professions in order to balance that of education, but also creativity to get kids involved and active and explore more about themselves during their school years. So I made an Eagle Scout project that had to do a lot with that. I went to four of my local elementary schools in the district. I was doing a collection of Lego Duplo pieces for a preschool that I used to go to. This was a place that I actually started learning about Lego when I was early on and was a place that I developed a lot of social skills and I still know the owner there. Um, this is actually more like private business. It's not like a franchise or anything like that for the preschool, but it was still one that I was very attached to and I wanted to give back from where I began. Aside from just doing the donation where I actually assembled different boxes at each of these schools, I talked with the board and was able to make this uh, project available, I did another thing to go along with this. Aside from just donating the Lego Duplo pieces and even my own Duplo collection for this project, that's why I have very few Duplo pieces around anymore. A lot of my childhood pieces went into that. Um, I still don't remember the sets for it if I ever do want to find them again, but I digress. Along with that, I also worked with my Boy Scout troop and local businesses, especially ones for painting, ones for carpentry, and was able to get materials donated to create a wooden play table that would house a lot of these Duplo pieces and was also a way to play on it. So this was a wooden table that I designed with my dad and we were able to get all the right measurements for it, do the proper areas to assemble it, like in terms of drilling, cutting wood properly, 
carefully knowing what sizes and right types to get and also where to apply the paint because it's also very colorful for being a play table. Like different parts of it have different colors all the way around. And we also made a safety feature with this table so that none of the wood causes any scratches or bruises if a, some, you know, a younger preschooler were to hit it by accident or trip into it. We had safety bumpers that were around different sides of it, especially on the tabletop and even parts of the surrounding bins. The idea of this, as you can see on the picture, is that there would be two bins on either side. That would be the most like stationary part of the table. This would be the part that holds up the benches on either side, sitting about two to three preschoolers on each side of it. Then there was a part in the middle that was the tabletop where they could play with all their pieces. So it was an easy way for them to grab them from either side, play with it on the table itself, and when it comes to cleaning, they could just brush it right off. The safety features would also allow them to do it in a very carefree manner, so no worries about injuries or accidents. This was a table that I was really happy to donate to the preschool, and I even, in my woodshop class in high school, made an inscription or two to go along with this project, so that they remember the person that created it, and I also made a very cute Lego Duplo sign. Like, just like the logo itself, I actually etched it out from my woodshop class. This was very neat to add on to there to give it more creativity and more color to it, and they very much appreciated it when they received it. So one thing that also made it special about this was not only did I have this donated to the school with the Duplo in there, which included all different kinds of Lego Duplo pieces from Bob the Builder to Lego trains, there was also an opportunity later for me to come back and get to answer questions with those kids. I was dressed in my Boy Scout uniform and I was able to talk about the process of making the table, why I wanted to donate it, and they really got to enjoy it. I'd still like to go back to the preschool so many years later and see how everything is doing. I have heard over time that they added wheels onto the bottom of it to make it more mobile, so in case they need to move it to different rooms, that would be a cool option. And I was all for that. So I'm really glad that LEGO was something that could inspire me as part of my career, but also for this Eagle Scout project to give back to my community. And even more importantly, give back to something that was getting me on the road to where I am today. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am still proud to be an Eagle Scout, and I will talk to you later with more LEGO videos. Let me know in the comments down below if you've heard of any Eagle Scout projects from anywhere in your community, or even if there are any LEGO related ones, because I hear those pop up every so often. I don't think I was the first by any means, and uh, the LEGO group hasn't acknowledged it or really heard that much about it, but I'm really happy to share it here on YouTube with everyone here because it is a really nice story and I really enjoy that experience. It's one of the biggest milestones in my life of going through this process and being able to give back to my community. We'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.